With these five things, you can start tap dancing and excel quickly. In this video, I'm going to take my 30 years of tap dance experience and training and condense it down to a five-part framework that I would follow if I were to start tap dancing today as an adult. Let's do it. Okay, number one, buy a pair of tap shoes. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you would know that that's actually not what I normally say. I normally say, you can tap dance anywhere at any time. You don't even need to own tap shoes, which is true. However, if you are going to commit as an adult to start learning to tap dance, there's no better way to really solidify that commitment than to just buying the pair of tap shoes. Not only that, it's so satisfying just to hear those sounds, those rhythms coming from your feet. You just feel that sense of satisfaction and growth so much quicker. It inspires you and motivates you. And so I would say definitely buy a pair of tap shoes. Now, if you're not sure of what tap shoes to buy, I first of all, always recommend um, an Oxford style rather than a heel style. I love the heels, they're so pretty. But if you're just doing some general tap dancing, an Oxford lace-up style with a full sole and not a split sole. I have all sorts of information on four of my favorite pairs of tap shoes at different price points in a guide below. So we'll just narrow it down to the four tap shoes I recommend for you. So go ahead and grab that. Number two, don't buy a tap board. And this might be uh, more controversial. Uh, where would you tap if you don't have a tap board? I'm not saying don't use a tap board. I'm saying don't buy one. And that's because they're pretty expensive because uh, you want one that is a good quality. And that's just a, a much greater investment that you don't necessarily need uh, to start. I actually have not purchased a tap board. I made a tap board by just purchasing some wood at Home Depot. These are like these gym mats cut glued and you definitely want this because that allows it to have that suspended sprung feeling which is better for your knees and better for the acoustics to have some space in here for uh, the sound to resonate so um if you don't have the ability to make one of these or the resources to do it right now uh, you could tap dance on a linoleum floor you could tap dance on a office roller mat that is on a carpet there are lots of different surfaces you could use my number one thing is make sure it's safe Okay, make sure you're not gonna slip and fall, that it's, a, that it's a solid surface that has good support and it's not super slippery. And also don't tap on cement ever and don't tap on any floors that you don't want to damage. Uh, so your hardwood floors, although it might sound nice, I would not recommend it. It's gonna scratch them up. So find something to dance on that works for you. Number three, start learning routines and dance combinations as you're learning the tap steps. It is really tempting to want to wait until you've built a larger repertoire of tap steps to start putting them to routines. But the joy is the dancing. You're not learning the tap steps just to learn tap steps. You're learning them to actually tap dance. And that is where uh, the joy and the motivation and the reward comes. Even in those first little steps. I have so many videos on my channel I would love for you to check out that have whole combinations with just toes and heels. So check out those videos and start dancing now. Don't wait. Number four, use a metronome from the start. Do the song, I got rhythm. Well, if you don't have rhythm, then learning the tap steps is just one part applying them to a tempo and a structure, a rhythmic structure, is really the whole foundation of tap. Tap dancing is percussion. It is the percussion section. Using a metronome from the start is going to help you feel that steady beat and also feel where the rhythms lock into those beats, where they fit, where the pocket is. So using a metronome from the start is really helpful. You can get a physical metronome, but you can also download several free apps and I'll drop a recommendation below in the description for you. And my last one, number five, is to get a buddy and start dancing. That could look like just telling someone that you're gonna start dancing for that level of accountability. It could mean actually inviting someone to learn to tap dance with you. It could also mean joining a dance class where you have a community of people dancing with you. Find people to dance with or someone to tell that you're learning to tap dance for that accountability and for that fun. And then just start dancing with them. So there they are, my five things to help you start and excel quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like it, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to grab my tap shoe buying guide in the description. Bye.